In our study of solutions, we've learned how to make a solution. We know the parts of a solution. So now I want to show you how to calculate the concentration of a solution using numbers. The term that we use to calculate that concentration or to describe it is called molarity. Molarity is how much solute is dissolved in the solvent. So let's look at this formula to get the units for that. Molarity is moles of solute. A lot of times in lab you'll be given grams and you just need to do a conversion to moles. And you divide that by the liters of the solution that you're making. Now you know a lot of times in lab you measure out your volume of liquids in milliliters, so you'll have to do a conversion there too, milliliters to liters. But the formula for molarity is always moles over liters. Here's a sample problem. If we have 23 grams of ammonium chloride and we dissolve it in water to make 145 milliliters of solution, the question is what is the molarity of this solution? So remember we need moles of solute over liters of solution. I've got 23 grams of ammonium chloride, so the first thing I need to do is convert that to moles. The first step is to take that 23 grams and divide it by the molar mass of NH4Cl, which is 53.5 grams, and you get 0.43 moles. The second step is to convert the milliliters to liters. You do that by dividing by 1,000, so those milliliters cancel, and you get 0.145 liters. That's the second step that you see here. And then the final step on this slide is to take those two numbers, the moles of solute divided by the liters of solution, and you get 2.97 molar. So this solution is 2.97 molar ammonium chloride. Now molarities can be very small numbers up to larger numbers. 2.97 is kind of a middle molarity. Something like 10 or 12 would definitely be a really concentrated solution. The smaller the number, the lower the molarity. Here's the second example. How much, what is the molarity of a solution if you have 34.6 grams of salt dissolved in 125 milliliters of solution? So the first step is to convert grams to moles. Divide by the molar mass of sodium chloride, you get 0.597 moles. Now we need to make liters. Take 125 milliliters and divide it by 1,000 to get 0.125 liters. And then finally, take those two numbers just like we did before and divide them. 0.597 divided by 0.125 and you get a molarity of 4.78. So this is a pretty concentrated solution of sodium chloride. So that's how you do molarity and the number is going to tell you how much solute is in your solution. The other thing you can do is to make a dilution. And this formula is M1V1 equals M2V2. The M's are the molarities and the V's are the volumes. This will help you take one solution and dilute it to make a new concentration in a new solution. Here's an example. I'm wanting to make 1.2 molar sodium hydroxide and I need 300 milliliters of it. How much of that concentrated solution, the 5.5 molar NaOH, should I use? So you're going to plug in. The M's, remember, are the molarities and the V's are the volumes. All you've got to do is make sure you pair together the correct molarity with its volume. Now I know that the 5.5 molar is the solution I'm starting with and I need to know how much of it to use. So that's my M1 and my V1 is unknown. My M2 is the new concentration I want to make and the 0.3 liters is the new volume I want to make. So I plugged all that in, use algebra to rearrange, and you get 0 0.065 liters. I just multiplied by 1,000 to convert that back to milliliters. So what that means is that you need to take 65 milliliters of that concentrated solution and add water until I get to 300 milliliters. It's almost like when you take the orange juice concentrate from the store and you pour that into your pitcher and then add some water so that you're able to drink it. You're making it more dilute. So I hope that helps you with solutions. See you next time.